Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. So for today's class, it for today's class, I'm Maria Awang is currently serving as a lecturer in the Department of Civil Engineering Technology, Faculty of Engineering Technology, University of Malaysia. I have served as an academician since 1996 and a, a member of Malaysian Association of Facility Management, Malaysia Board of Technologies and Board of Engineers Malaysia. I am a Dean Doctor of Philosophy in Facilities Management from UTM Skudai in year 2014. I am also actively supervise a number of postgraduate students at both PhD and Master level. Currently, my research interests include facility management, energy management, building performance and building services. I had published articles related to my research interests in index journals at international and local level. And I also active in nine research grants and become head for three of these research grants. So for today's class, it covers content, core idea of mixed method research, assumption about research needed, when to use mixed method research, basic component, mixed methods literature, philosophical assumption, mixed methods designs, procedural challenges in using design, standards for evaluation, and the last one is future research. Okay, for understanding the core idea of methods research, we have quantitative data and qualitative data. So the combination of this data we call mixed methods research. Now we see the assumption about research needed to conduct this form of inquiry. First, qualitative is legitimate, knowledge of qualitative research, Third, methodology involved, diversity in methodology, and the last one is times when quantitative and qualitative. The most important is identify situation in which mis, which mixed methods research is needed. First situation, you are measuring a concept of an instrument. You have a sense that scores are not telling you the entire story. If you just ask a few people about the concept, you might obtain a better understanding. Mixed methods research provides a more complete understanding of the research problem than other quantitative or qualitative alone. Okay, second situation, you look over the instruments available to study a concept. They were developed from a different sample or population than the one you are studying. You consider that you will need to develop an instrument before you can administer it to your sample. Mixed methods is a methodology for developing better, more context-specific instruments. And third situation, you are getting data about a factors that predict a concept on several instruments. Although you have general information about the importance of predictors, you can only guess as 
to what explains why the results occur. Mixed methods helps to explain results or how mechanism work in causal model. Next situation, you are conducting an intervention study. You have an intervention that was developed by another researcher. You are not certain that it will work with the sample you are studying. Mixed methods is a way to explore first to determine if an intervention will work. And next situation, we want to evaluate the performance of an organization. This calls for understanding the expected outcomes of the organization, needs assessment, design some instruments to measure those outcomes, and then help to explain why the outcomes occur meets methods in an approach to tie together several steps in an evaluation process. So the basic components involved in mixed methods research is Mixed method research is a methodology for conducting research that involves collecting, analyzing, and integrating quantitative and qualitative research in a single study or a longitudinal program of inquiry. The purpose of this form of research is that both qualitative and quantitative research in combination, provide a better understanding of a research problem or issue than either research approach alone. The entire process of research, such as philosophical assumption of inquiry, research questions, data collection, data analysis, data interpretation, interpretation, data reporting. Okay, uh, before we go through all this content, so for quantitative research, actually you have learned from Prof. Dr. Chan. So I just list a research uh, approach that involve um, such as variable, hypothesis, questions, instrument, close-ended question, reliability, validity, statistical analysis, generalizability, replicability, control, and lack of bias. As well as for qualitative research, you have learned from Dr. Penel. So, uh, inquiry approach which include central phenomenon, broad general question, views of participant, reciprocity and respect, description and themes, interpretation, personal reflexi reflexivity, flexible structure, meaning or advocate for groups or individuals. Mixed method involve collecting both quantitative and qualitative data. Quantitative data such as instrument, checklist, record and for qualitative data like interviews, observation, documents, audio, visual material. Besides that, mixed methods involves quantitative and qualitative data analysis. So, 
for quantitative analysis, use statistical analysis for description, for comparing groups, for relating variable and qualitative analysis, use text and image for coding, for theme development, for relating theme. Mixed method involves mixing data. For example, converged data. That means the combination qualitative and quantitative data and combination of that we have with we we have a result. So for connect data, for connect data we have qualitative data and followed by quantitative data and then we come up the result. So the last one embedded data we have quantitative data and also we have qualitative data and then we come up the result. Mixed method, uh, mixed method may consist of a single study or multiple study. For example, single study, we have quantitative study, data, analysis, and we have qualitative data and analysis. Combination two of them, we got the result. Multiple studies, for example, for study one, we choose quantitative study. For study two, we choose qualitative study. And study three, we choose qualitative study. And also study four, we choose maybe quantitative study or qualitative study. Combination of result from the fourth study, we have the result. This is examining the philosophical assumption behind mixed method research. For example, worldview philosophy, theoretical lens, methodolo methodological approach, and methods of data collection. Learning about aspect of a worldview of paradigm, there are some terms we need to know. The first one, ontology. Ontology means how we see reality in the world. Second, epistemology. How we know what we know. Axiology, how we view the role of values. Methodology, how we conduct the procedures of research. And rhetorical, how we view the use of language in research. Okay, now for typical world view, the first one, post positivism. It is concerned about determination, reductionism, empirical of observation and measurement, theory verification. While for constructivism, understanding multiple participant meanings social and historical construction theory generation for advocacy for advocacy or participatory it's concern for political, empowerment issue-oriented, collaborative, change-oriented. And the last one for pragmatism, namely consequence of actions, problem center, pluralistic, real-world practice-oriented. For understanding the different worldview stances in mixed method research, single worldview 
such as pragmatism, transformative, advocacy or participatory. Multiple worldviews made explicit and worldviews change depending on type of design. So now we see types of mixed method design typically used in research. The first one, triangulation mixed method design. So for mixed method design, uh, normally we have quantitative data and result and plus or combine qualitative data and result. So the both combination we have to do interpretation from the both data and result. The second type is embedded mixed methods design. For example, quantitative pretest data and result, the process, qualitative process, and then we, we got quantitative post-test data and result. The third one, explanatory mixed methods design. We have quantitative data and result, follow up by qualitative data and result. For exploratory mixed method design, we have qualitative data and result, and we build and we got quantitative data and result. So uh, don't worry, you uh, you just uh, you just uh, study your research first, and then uh, you choose what type uh, mix for your research. Okay, for the concurrent triangulation design, this is for example a model for triangle, triangulation design. So we got quantitative data collection and then we got quantitative data analysis and also maybe we got qualitative data collection or qualitative and qualitative data analysis. After that, comparing the result and then the last one, we the finding have composite model. So for triangulation design, is one phase project, concurrent data collection, combined results, intent is to merge two separate strands of data. For embedded design, we have, for example, we have quantitative data collection for pretest, and then we have quantitative data collection for post test. Okay, the process collection and data analysis of quantitative data before, during, or after trial. So, supportive role of one type of data or both forms of data. Mix within an experiment, case study, narrative study, or correlation design, concurrent or sequential data collection, one phase or two phase, intent of enhancing the design. Embedded design within experiment. This is, uh, I just give example. So, Let's say we have qualitative before intervention and then experimental methodology. We have quantitative pre-follow-up measure and we have quantitative intervention post and measure follow-up and then after that we have qualitative after intervention and overall result and 
interpretation. So this is procedure, products. Uh, you can read before. So for explanatory sequential design, sequential data collection, two-phase project, quantitative phase first and qualitative second, one phase builds on another phase, intend to explain results or to select participants to better understand results. For exploratory sequential design, this is sequential data collection, two-phase project, quantitative phase first and qualitative second. One phase builds on another phase, intend to first explore in order to develop an instrument to, to identify categories, taxonomy for follow-up. Criteria for choosing a design. The first one, intent for conducting mixed method research. Second, each trend stand alone then brought together or sequential. One strand builds on the other. Third, emphasis or priority given to one strand. Fourth, nature of research question. Follow resource available. And the last one is stakeholders in field. For understanding the procedural challenge in using the design, mainly contradictory findings, data integration, sample collection, sample size, introducing bias and time. So, recognition standard for evaluating the quality of mixed method study. Normally, such as collection of both quantitative and qualitative data in response to quantitative and qualitative question. Missing, second, missing of the two forms of data. Third, rigor of quantitative and qualitative approach and fourth contribution to the mixed methods literature fit use of mixed methods terms so for needed research on mixed methods should visual diagram and notation system Understanding types of design procedures, mixed method question and reason for mixed methods. Understanding issues arising in design, imagine language of methodology, adaption to different fields of study, worldview perceptive, influences in mixed method research, skill needed, finding source requirement and guideline, international perspective, writing mixed method studies, collaborative research and team research. So that's all for mixed method research. Uh, I think you enjoy the mixed method research. Thank you. And if you have any question, you can email me or text me. And uh, don't forget, we have uh, on Google Meet class on Tuesday at 11 morning. So, happy research. Take care. Stay safe and all the best for your PhD or master research. Good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye.